Hello, I'm sitting in the car with Jackie and Pon today because Hi. hello, hello, <laughs> because uh, I booked a private tour to go to an uh, elephant sanctuary. Afterwards, we also gonna visit the uh, sticky waterfalls, and I think those are kind of the most popular um, day trips you can do from Chiang Mai. I thought maybe it's possible to book a private tour, and actually it was even pretty spontaneously. Those guys. Uh, were able to offer me a tour since I have brought in this morning at 8 and yeah, we started the tour at 9.30. And we arrived over some rice fields and they are also beautiful with the mountains uh, and the uh, clouds. And uh, there, over there I can see the first elephant. Oh, it took me over the first two. And yeah. So, I had to switch my close to this handsome wardrobe because uh, yeah it's the traditional outfit of the Karen tribe people who are like taking care of the elephants so the elephants uh, will think I'm one of them and that means I'm their friend and then they're gonna not attack me hopefully and yeah excuse me there we have one and my head as well <laughs> perfect <laughs> <laughs> there, there we have the first uh, exemplar and yeah, so far I'm quite happy with this uh, place because I think I'm even the only tourist here right now. So usually those uh, tours take place with 10, 12, 15 people and they go to like um, huh? like uh, places with a lot of tourists. And huh? yeah, here I'm apparently the only one. Pretty, pretty perfect. And yeah, let's uh, see if this uh, guy or this girl is gonna, gonna attack me or, or not. See, very, very in the nature here. I'm the only tourist, and now I'm getting bananas. Yeah, yeah. So you take away the GoPro from me. Come Come That's how you control the herd of elephants, just with some bananas. And now we're gonna take take yeah. a bath with them. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you shower. Hey. Oh, poo. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, poo, 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 elephant. Yeah, you leave the back here. Ah, <laughs> oh, eat a poo. Maybe I should stay. Take okay, it one, one, one big girl, one big girl. Yeah, one big girl. One, 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 one. Look at me, look at me. <laughs> one, two, look at me, please. Come back, come back. If I'm uh, an expert yet or not. Is it good? Is it good? Wow. I'm holding you in there. What are you in Okay, the one more coming. Right. <laughs> and the next one wants to shower. <laughs> but I also do it like to put mud on their skin, right? Yeah, For yeah. protection. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Thank you. 
lucky, lucky. So much. <laughs> so, actually, I'm not at the airport. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, this is uh, apparently a hotel. You can sleep in the in a plane, in an old uh, airbus. Coffee, coffee. The coffee, you can drink yeah, coffee. But I think hotel as well. You can yeah, sleep there as well. And yeah, the reason why we stopped here, we are going to have uh, lunch. Um, some cow soy is part of the tour. Actually, the cow soy not. You can choose what kind of lunch you want to have with the guides. Um, but um, I decided for the cow soy. I proposed it because it's also the traditional uh, Chiang Mai, the most traditional Chiang Mai, the most famous Chiang Mai dish. So yeah, I'm going to try it now for the first time, actually. So. This is how the yeah. cow soy oh, looks like. Yes, a very traditional Chiang Mai yeah. dish. Yes. I just uh, shared the papaya yeah. salad before yeah. with, yeah. with yeah. my guides. Yeah. Oh, yeah. there's some more ingredients. Cooking. And yeah, I yeah. told the guys I'm, uh, I like papaya salad, that I like spicy food, and they ordered one. And now we're gonna try the cow soy, the traditional Chiang Mai. Yeah. And that's yeah. how I look after the cow soy. But it was very delicious. I mean, you should only take care of you if you're not used to eat spicy food because I'm kind of into spicy food and it's spicy for me. Like it comes, comes with some spice and I already did, took the wise advice of my guides and did only used a bit of the extra spice. But for some of you, yeah, I am my Thai guide. <laughs> Used, used everything and he's looking he's not looking like sweaty like me but yeah for most people probably rather eat your kalsoi without the additional chili it's gonna be spicy enough but yeah i know why it's a famous dish to check my now it's super tasty it's kind of a mix out of patai and uh, curry maybe kind of a curry curryish soup but yeah very very tasty we made it to the sticky waterfalls <laughs> I don't know. Can it. Yes, it's also another very famous uh, tourist attraction. It's in a national park. Very beautiful here. There you can see the waterfall. And I think it's called Sticky because, yeah, it's uh, basically sticky. It means you can climb up next to the, the waterfall. You don't see it like right now in the record. But there are some ropes uh, attached to the trees. And yeah, I think I'm gonna shoot some. Some video material from right there. I swear that we're making our way down through the jungle and to the direction of the bottom of the waterfalls, and then uh, from there we're gonna climb up again. This sign doesn't mean anything good, but I'm gonna get into the danger, and yeah, I think here's where the waterfall starts. This is why we call. Yes. If the, <coughs> if the white, okay. Uh -huh. here, but if something like this, a bit. Green, okay, yeah. yeah. Right, Here's right. definitely yeah, not, not like slidey. But if like this, uh -huh. a bit. On the green, it's. Ah, you can, you can uh, hurt yourself. Yeah. Okay. Good to know. So, just the snakes are the only threat here when I take care where I put my feet on. Okay. But so far, I couldn't spot any kind of snake. Well, this so I'm gonna hit the record button as soon as I see one. And here it's getting more wild rafty. And since I threw down my GoPro yesterday, I need to be careful to not let it enter into the water. And uh, this is how I climb down here. Oh yeah, you can take it. It's fun. Uh, okay, so. Oh, this is here, it's not really like... Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Ah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Because here it's getting uh, like a bit... Here, it's apparently where you're not allowed to go because it's getting dangerous. Oh, really? Because, ah, okay, this way not enter, okay. So apparently I can go here, but just not to the left, because it would go down. But it seems like this way is not too dangerous for me to take, so yeah, let's find out. And yeah, further down here, 
It's slightly dangerous, but okay. We're not here to uh, to make only undangerous stuff, right? We are here on the Bear Grylls survival mode level. And seems like we made it through to the bottom of the sticky waterfalls. So let's see if I can get it on the shorts. After we arrived in the elephant sanctuary, like um, my guide Pon was more or less filming all the time and I wasn't really commenting much that, that much anymore. I'm gonna let you um, have my final thoughts about my private um, tour today. And yeah, so actually I can say I'm really happy that um, it didn't work out with me with the regular tours because in hotels or in my condo it was advertised those kind of tours and usually you can choose between um, the full day tour and the half day tour and yeah usually you're gonna take the tour with 10 12 other people and it's gonna cost you like um, from 1600 bahts for the half day visit um, to 2000 or up to 2500 3000 bahts for the full day visit and yeah usually it only includes going to the elephant sanctuary and actually i paid um 5500 baht which is more or less like uh, 150 euros um yeah obviously that's not really cheap for thailand but when you compare it to like um you could have had the same experience more or less for uh, 1600 baht or 25 of the price but of course with a lot of other people around you like you're not like I was alone in the in the um, shuttle with my two guides you're gonna be with 10 12 people and yeah for me it was very flexible so yeah I didn't have time early to go to the early tour and I didn't have time to go to the late tour so those guys really adjusted to my schedule adjusted to what I really want to see what I want to eat so it was really personal and Jackie and Pon, yeah, tried everything they, they could to make me have um, a good day. So, and yeah, I really appreciated that. They were also really helpful, taking, uh, helping me taking footage, recording for YouTube, um, making pictures <laughs> since I was alone. And yeah, maybe the best part about it uh, that uh, the Elephant Sanctuary went to was, um, those guys told me before, they would anyway rather go to the place where not too much tourists come, at least less than to the other elephant sanctuaries in the region. And yeah, today really I had the opportunity to be alone with the elephants because literally I, it was the only tour going to this place in that day, or at least at the time I was there. And since I was the only person in my group, yeah, I had all the elephants for me. And yeah, you can also see it in the footage. They, um, yeah, we're trying hard to, to get me off my my bananas for them. And um, yeah, but yeah, especially that was so cool about this experience because on the way back, I saw another group doing the same trip, but in this group, there were like 10 people standing around one elephant, feeding them. And they, of course, had to wait. And yeah, and with, with my tour, it was the, the opposite way, right? Like five elephants were around me and why waiting to get fielded or pushing to get fielded and yeah, that was, that made it really, really cool. And in addition to that, like this tour also includes going to the sticky waterfalls when the usual half day elephant sanctuary trips only include the, going to the elephant sanctuary. So yeah, I had like one attraction in addition. It was also pretty cool. I mean, doesn't come to the experience like being so close with, with elephants for the first time. I mean, I will probably remember this for a long time, this experience, but it was also pretty cool. So nature, like um, seeing those waterfalls, climbing there, walking through those waterfall river, it was also pre pretty cool. And yeah, after that, then we went home already. I missed a bit of the experience. Usually the trip is about eight hours for me. It took only six hours since I didn't have more time. 
And yeah, usually you do some other activities in the 11th century, which I skipped. I kind of only made the highlights and yeah. But my conclusion is when you're in Chiang Mai you, and you probably want to visit the elephants, right? Because it's like the coolest day trip here. Um, yeah, my advice is book a, book a private tour. Um, I think, yeah, because I was alone, the price was 5,500 baht. If you were like up to four people, I think it's 3,500 per person. So it almost matches the price as the bigger tours, but you get just more, you get more service and um, with less people around you. So yeah, I can definitely recommend um, Jackie and Pond. They have been great guys and um, it's Pond's brother, I, I think, who has Pond Chiang Mai private tour. I'm gonna hold it here. So yeah, if you're ever in Chiang Mai and you're, you're considering taking a tour to an 11th century, I would rather, I would really recommend taking a private tour and if you dip into the private tour guides, um, I can recommend Pond Pon and Jackie. They did a really good job and um, yeah, if you want to Check out yourself. I also found similarish kind of offers on Get Your Guide or on similar sites called, I don't remember. But actually, um, yeah, Jackie and Pon uh, responded faster since I requested uh, the tour this morning and one hour later they were kind of here. So yeah, thumbs up. Had a great experience, had a great day and yeah, I can only recommend you. If you're in Chiang Mai, book your tour with Jackie and Pon. Don't get any advertisement, uh, whatever shit. I, I'm just recommending them because I had a good time.